Welcome back to the vlogs. Today is currently Friday. I'm just about to head out the door. Um, I really need to go. Just finished getting ready for the day and I'm just popping off in the car now to get a facial. I was getting regular facials. I've spoke about this before um, pre-pregnancy and um, before I had Camilla but I actually haven't really got back into the swing of things since having her and I just want to get back into it just to like keep my skin in good health plus the upcoming wedding even though we have made like no wedding plans it's probably not for another two years but I really want to stay on top of it just to like keep it looking fresh and healthy I spoke about this before but I usually get regular peels and LEDs but today I'm actually trying a peel I think as well but also I'm getting a hydrofacial which I've never tried before but I'm so excited to try it out um so I'm thinking I'm going to add that into my routine with regular peels and LEDs I've spoken about um how much they've helped my skin before so I suffered from quite a bit of like hormonal skin from just my PCOS um, and all my hormonal issues um, and yeah it's like super super helped me but I'm just gonna put you here and finish getting ready because I really need to go I'm leaning you on like hopefully the camera stays there um, yeah so I've spoken about it before how much let me see Camilla's caught in the background um, how much they've really helped me so I haven't really got back into it like I took about Oh, over, like a year and a half off now since you can't really get them whilst being pregnant um, so I just sort of stopped which is fine um, and now getting back into it so I've just gotten ready for the day super basic like not even makeup I've just popped some tinted moisturizer on a bit of lipstick just to make me feel alive I've got like a white shirt this one's from Zara I've just tried on these new jeans they just came in yesterday I don't have the mirror here so I can't give you like a full proper look but I will show you later on these ones are from Dakuba and they are so so good like they fit amazing so I will share more details on that later got my little handbag um, just pop this on over the top because I don't really know it's like a little bit cold outside but I can't really tell so anyway I will chat um, and share more after the facial No, you were just saying about the the rationale. Yeah, what so this, this was is the number one B. serum, vitamin yep. B serum. So anti-inflammatory, antibacterial for acne. Yeah, great for pigment, but also good for the general health of your skin, keeping mm -hmm. the barrier nice and strong. Yep. Um, yeah, antioxidant protection. So this skin's just the day. after the LED. Yeah, yeah. Just after the LED, now pop mm -hmm. a moisturizer on, and then we'll go in with your SPF last. Perfect. <laughs> yep. Oh, it feels really nice. Yeah, and it smells nice. It's cold. <laughs> that does smell nice. <laughs> so I usually just rub this in my fingers and then sort of pat it mm -hmm. on, and then so this is the it. one you were talking about. Yeah, yeah. So really sort of nice and light on the skin that gives you like that little bit of coverage and color. Yeah. But sort of your alternative to and wearing it's foundation. Yeah. Yeah. Fifty. Good coverage. And because you probably had a bit of makeup on too, it'll be It'll like, look dirty. Yeah, it's so good to show people. So that's like Ooh. the colour. And you can usually see on the bottom like little bits of like dead skin, dirt. Yeah, yeah, right. So that's just everything that's come out of the... Yep. Wow. So that's all it just sucks it up. <laughs> it's quite gross, isn't it? Yeah. It's so good. It's good so to know that's off your skin. Yeah, that's like um, satisfying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the idea cool. is it should be sort of cleaner each time you yeah. Each time we come. Okay, yeah. that's a good um that's a good thing. I can look back and see if I've been looking after my skin or and not. I think your skin's clean, like after you cleanse. But it's but not. This, just, this is ultra trouble? clean. <laughs> yep. Getting just hopped back in the car. That was the most beautiful facial ever. Like I'm so excited. I'm so glad that I tried out the Hydra facial. Um, haven't tried that before. So basically, I didn't really get to explain much before because I was in such a rush. Um, but yeah, so before Camilla, I was having like regular um, treatments on my skin. Like every, probably like two months, eight, eight, eight-ish weeks, I think. I was getting peels and LEDs. Helped so much. Like I've spoken about this before. Helped so much with my hormonal acne and skin. Like I used to have so many flare-ups. It would just get really sore, really aggravated, like angry looking skin. Mostly from like my PCOS and just like lots of hormonal issues. And um, they just helped so much. That and regular skin, obviously like changing up things in my diet. That's all helped. But basically then fell pregnant. 
and whilst you're pregnant you can't really get them done you can get certain treatments done but I think I was also just like too sick to lay there and get it done like I just would have felt so sick so I basically haven't had anything done really for such a long time and I was so excited to get back into it I really wanted to just get back into regular treatments just to keep my skin going I was also so worried during pregnancy that you know hormones flying everywhere I thought my skin for sure would be someone sorry I thought for sure I would be someone that was going to get like really bad skin and hormonal like flare-ups but my skin was amazing during pregnancy like I couldn't be more grateful um I kept on to all my skincare and like tried to look after it but I obviously couldn't have my regular treatments so I was a bit worried but it was totally fine now that I can get them again I'm so happy so today I got a peel some LED but also the hydrofacial which was so beautiful like you can see my skin it's just like so glowy like she's um i think she's only put she put like a vitamin b cream on like serum on plus um their spf which has got like a tiny tint but other than that not wearing anything um but yeah so so good highly recommend if you haven't tried any of that like it's just like so beautiful on your skin they're also so well educated um and they just really help with like what your skin needs obviously there's just like so much on the market so many skincare products brands like it's so overwhelming I was actually thinking this the other day when I was at Mecca um, and I stocked up on some of my favorite Dermalogica stuff and I was like there's just so many brands so many products it's just like so overwhelming and I feel like you really don't need everything and I was speaking to the girl today I saw the lovely Carly at Australian skin face and body she was so beautiful um, yeah I feel like you just don't need every single product and you really need to learn like what your skin likes I've definitely learned that over the time I was saying to Carly how whenever I go away from Dermalogica and try certain products from other brands my skin just doesn't like it like that just really suits my skin so I've been using it for years but yeah it's just like so overwhelming she was asking if I use serums and I was like look I've dabbled in certain things but honestly I just really don't know what my skin needs there's so many out there it's like so confusing so she's given me a few samples to try so I've got them in here but um, of most mostly retinol and a vitamin B but yeah just like so good to go there to speak to them about your skin in particular and I really just wanted to get on to it now before like the wedding obviously that's not happening for a while <laughs> probably like two years away um, but that's fine I wanted to be on to it get it back into a good routine so I don't know if you can see in like better lighting here but you can just see how like hydrated glowy like really fresh and it just makes your skin feel beautiful and every other time I've had um, the peels and stuff after you've had it done like your makeup just sits so good on your skin you know when like your skin um, it's just like doesn't feel that clean and your makeup's not really sitting it's not really sinking into the skin it's just like sitting on top yeah so can't wait to like do my makeup this weekend I've got um, one of my best friends 30th birthday tomorrow night so actually need to work out what I'm wearing but um, yeah, I'm so excited I've had this done. So I've got that next weekend. We're going to Melbourne. We've got an awards night for Harry's work um, It's like a full black tie event. So exciting. I've actually just got a new dress in today I had another dress. There's a bit of a drama with the dress So I've tried to get another one that arrived today. So I'm gonna go home and try that on so Hopefully that works um, But yeah, I can't wait to share that all with you. But yeah, anyway now I've got to go home have some lunch It's like so late. What's the time? three o'clock and I haven't even had anything yet I'm so hungry okay oh my god it's literally so cold my fingers are shaking just getting ready to go to the house just gonna meet the painter there for a quick little update a meeting on site so hopefully we can see some updates so excited just put some lipstick on just to make myself look alive a little bit of my favorite. Oh. Okay, there we go. Also, my hair has lasted surprisingly well. I curled it yesterday um, and just put it in like, um, not a bun, but I just like curled it. Sorry, what, like, went like this. Curled it around like that around my fingers, put it up in a clip on top of my head last night whilst I was sleeping, just so that it would be. Um, like a little bit wavy today and it's actually surprisingly held up really well anyway off um quite a busy week a few days happening this week so meeting the painter today tomorrow i've got a meeting um at the designers just finalized all the final design stuff colors 
all of that stuff, stone, um, fixtures, fittings, all of that stuff. So exciting. And then hopefully we'll have a final um, measure on-site measure this week for all of the cabinetry to start going in. So hopefully that will start happening more progress at the house over the next few weeks. Um, I've also got to go tomorrow and finalize picking out our splashback tiles, ordering those um, and the paneling that I spoke about that we're going to get done in the bathroom. So that will get done soon. So I've got to organize that stuff this week um, before heading off to Melbourne for the weekend. So, oh my God, it's just like so cold and I'm like shaking. I'm just like hurry up spring and summer just i'm like love I've just got like this trench coat on today um from this one's from french connection from like a year or so ago so classic but yeah i'm just like so ready to like not be wearing coats anymore not be like in leggings and jumpers all the time just to like get out and about um in some spring clothes so hopefully soon um, what else is happening? I've just got in a new Zara order. It just came this morning, so I might open that when I get back. I haven't opened it yet. Have a look at that. But I'm thinking of filming a bit of a Zara and a H&M update. Um, that might go live on my channel next week. Um, just to, like talk over a few more bits that I've got in recently. Some things I got on holiday. Just like talk through those a bit more. Try them on. Style them up. Um, so yeah, I'll get going now. Um, but yeah, see you at the house. Just arrived at the house and I've just finished up my little meeting with the painter. We were just sort of going over final things, what's happening over the next few weeks, what needs to be done. The painting is coming along so well. Like it's probably like 80% finished. There's just little bits that need to be done after the cabinet tree and the rest of the stuff goes in. So we're just sort of working out like a bit of a plan and timeline. But yes, yeah, so exciting. It's looking so good. So I thought I'll just do a tiny bit of a YouTube update for you. Um, I've shown little bits over on my Instagram and on my home Instagram accounts. So if you don't follow that, definitely go and check it out. I've tried to do like more updates, but really I just haven't had that much to update you on yet. So far it's just painting. So soon there'll be so many updates. So I'll definitely share once they start happening. I can't wait. I'm just like so excited to just like get in now and just like really get settled like as a family with our little, like with Camilla and just like find our routines. You know when you're just like out of routine, when you don't have all of your stuff, like it's all in storage, my clothes are still in storage, just everything. So yeah, so excited. But anyway, I'll take you on a little bit of a tour and an update. So this is currently the kitchen, <laughs> what the kitchen looks like. It's all been ripped out. Um, it's looking so much bigger. So we've got like the kitchen, dining space. Um, but yeah, it's all ripped out, ready to go. So. Um, the kitchen will all sort of be back in there. This is also getting pulled out. So the kitchen cabinetry is going to go up to the top, which is so exciting. Just like make the most of the storage and like space. The laundry, I can't wait for that to be done. Um, but yeah, it's kind of just got, st we've got stuff everywhere. It's just like a bit of a sight at the moment. Anyway, that will be getting done. So you move across here, which I've showed little bits, but oh my gosh, I'm just like so obsessed. Like it's just like such... Like a so rewarding when you've got like this little vision for your renos and it starts to come true. So anyway, this will be the living area. It's just as we as I said, stuff everywhere, but don't mind that. The um fireplaces have come up so nice as well. I'm a like I just love all of this character. Um so they've just been painted white. This still needs to be sort of like painted, cleaned out. Anyway, can't wait to start seeing all of the shelving and cabinetry going in. I just can't wait to sit here. Um, coffee table, couch, sit here with our new TV, style up these shelves. Like, I'm just so excited. Little bathroom update. This is currently the state of it. The bath's gone, the vanity's gone. So this is where I was talking about all of the panelings. Gonna go here instead of, we're not going to have these wall tiles. I just don't love the tile look. I'm just, we're gonna have wall tiles in the shower, but we're gonna keep the paneling all the way around. I'm just trying to decide how high up I go. I don't think I'm gonna go as high as this. I'm thinking only perhaps like this high, like in line with just above where the toilet sits and the bath's gonna go there, going to go there, vanity very dusty um, but yeah still trying to decide on that now have a look at how good the wardrobes are looking i'm just so excited it's just looking so good it looks so fresh and big already just from like a coat of paint so you would have seen these all like dark dark timber so they've come up so nicely Got shelves there can't wait to start styling up like all my shoes and bags i just i'm so excited just to like have everything in here 
also some nice shelves up the top there. So I'm going to pop some handles on all of these doors, um, which that'll kind of finish off this room. But this is what I'm also so excited about. My tiny little, it's actually so much bigger than I imagined as well. It's come up so nice. My little hair and makeup station. I'm gonna look for like a nice ottoman to sort of go under here, but I'm struggling with the height. Most of them are quite low and I need to be able to sit up, but it's just like the perfect. So I've got like this window here, which goes to outside. So it's just going to be the perfect little spot to do my hair and makeup, natural lighting, a great big mirror, which is so nice. I was going to look for like a light to put up there, but I'm just not sure now. Like, I think it's going to be nice when we get some down lights in here. But yeah, just so nice. I can picture like having all my makeup, little candle, all my perfumes and stuff. So yeah, so excited to see this space kind of come together. And I've always, always dreamed of having like a a space to sit down, do your hair and makeup, get ready sort of when you're going out, rather than just always like taking over the bathroom. Plus, I love that this is like a separate little area so I can just make a mess and then it'll all just <laughs> you can stay here and then you can clean it later. Whereas the bathroom, I just have this bad habit. My gosh, I've just like stuffs everywhere. You've got dryer, straightener, Dyson, makeup, tech, like everything. And then you're rushing out the door and then you leave it. So anyway, so excited for that space to come together. I also was looking online to see whether I could get like a little drawer installed there to put the makeup in. Otherwise I can just get some like baskets and stuff to sit the makeup on top. Anyway, so, so happy with how this is coming up. So just quickly thought I would show you, these are the handles that are gonna go, going to go on the doors like this. So they used to have just like big doorknobs. So instead of replacing the whole doors, I love the character of them. So I wanted to keep them, but I didn't want like big doorknobs on. So we're just going to have like little handles like this. These are the, also the same handles that we're going to have in the kitchen. I'm going to have matching little knobs to go on those cupboards up there. Um, and in here, I was thinking of getting like a really nice pendant, like a nice light hanging down, but then I keep thinking about it and I'm like, you know what? You're not gonna really see it. I would rather have some down lights put in and have really good lighting. So that's a bit of a, like, I just can't decide what to do, but I think instead of having a pendant there, um, yeah, as I was saying, I think just like the smart um, and practical thing to do would be, put some down lights in, get some proper lighting in here because I've got this beautiful window here. I'm gonna be able to like, you know, film some things in here, take photos. And also just when you're getting ready and just be able to see, plus hair and makeup station here. I would like to have like good lighting above, you know, at nighttime. That light is terrible as well. When it's nighttime in here, you can hardly see, even when you turn the light on. So um, I think that'll be nice. That door's gonna be kind of permanently closed. That goes to the hallway at the moment but I don't really want that to be an accessible door. So we're probably gonna come through our bedroom to come in, so that goes to our bedroom, master bedroom, and that's how we'll access the wardrobe. So it's kind of just gonna be like, just for us to use really. Um, and I'd like to get like a mirror installed on the back there, but it's kind of like a, a specific size. So I might have to look at getting something made. But I just think that would be the perfect spot to have a mirror, full length mirror, you're getting dressed, you're getting ready, all in one space, which I can't wait. Take it away, take it away, feeling too good to me Chilling all day, all in your space is where I want to be Just hop back in the car, it is so gross outside It's like raining, it's freezing, oh my god Can't wait for some warmer weather to come um, But yeah, just had coffee, like a coffee meeting this morning Which is so great, just about some exciting things I just love finding like-minded people like, I just think you don't realize how much you need that like finding people that are on the same page as you like really inspiring just having like good supportive people around you and like um yeah anyway I just was sitting here thinking like how good that is just to find people that also want to see you do well you want to see them do well and you're all just like about the same thing so I think that's just like you know we know that but I just think it's like so important to have those people around you that you just like talking with connecting with um yeah anyway not a great start for my day. I just got a parking ticket. Ugh, just got back to my car. I totally forgot to even put my parking on. I usually am so good at that too, but just totally forgot. Anyway, I'm off this morning. I've got like quite a busy day ahead. My mum has Camilla for the day, so I've got heaps of meetings and work stuff booked in. I'm off now to um, our final design meeting um, at our designers for the Renault. I think it's all kicking off in the next few weeks. Actually, hopefully soon. I'll find that out today. But just a final meeting to go over everything and make sure every finish and detail is perfected. Exactly how like we wanted it. Um, 
And yeah, and then I think they'll have like an on-site meeting. Gosh, it's really raining now. Um, yeah, an on-site meeting to do like a final measure. I've also got to finalize some splashback tiles today. I've also got to go and order the paneling um, for the bathroom, which I spoke about. Oh, I've also got to go online later today and finalize all of our um, finishes for like the kitchen and bathroom or everywhere really all of the handles and knobs and stuff like that the drawer pulls so I've got to do that uh, one more thing I also haven't finished which I spoke about before is the lighting I think I'm just gonna wait a little bit longer I mean I'm so excited to finally get the lights in there but I just need to wait and f pick it all as one like I, I think I've been looking at it the wrong way like I've been trying to pick what suits each room whereas I really just I need to do that but I also want to make sure they're all cohesive fit the whole house as a vibe lighting is one thing like I'm just really struggling mainly because of the house like because of the era it needs to be the lighting needs to match it needs to be traditional like not super modern which is fine but also just with ceiling roses trying to work in with the size they need to be the right size and shape and whatever so anyway that's proving difficult too but anyway I'm gonna crack on now and get to the designers and I'll share as much as I can morning okay so i finally got around to going through this zara order i'm just opening it haven't opened it yet so it's been a few days since i picked up the camera um it's just been busy this week with like house stuff and yeah just like mum life so i finally got around to opening this and then i'm off to a birthday lunch soon for one of my best friends 30th birthday today so i'm heading off to lunch then this afternoon, I'm going to get ready. We're going to Melbourne on the weekend. I'm not sure if I've mentioned this already. I think I have. Um, we're going to Harry's, like an awards night. So that's busy as well. I've got to come home and like organize that, do all the stuff tonight, tan, all of that. Like if you know, you know, it's just like such a headache. Wash the hair, dry the hair, tan, exfoliate, all that jazz. Um, yeah. So doing that, that's my day today. Um, and then tomorrow, head down to Melbourne. Can't wait to like share all of that, get ready. Just excited for like an event to like dress up. It's like fully glam as well, like full black tie gowns, everything like that. So that's exciting. Also, it's the first time we're leaving Camilla overnight. So I'm a bit sad about that. I'm like so sad, but it's so fine. She's with my mum and dad, so it'll be fine. Anyway, quickly get onto this Zara order. Then heading out the door. Only three pieces in this. So I just thought I'd quickly open them here and show you what I got, but then I'm also gonna film a Zara haul and like properly talk you through all the pieces, style them up, show you the fit, talk you through properly. Um, so that'll be on my channel next week. So stay tuned for that. So first up, oh, this is like a really cute little dress. So also hard to see in the camera, but um, I've got this in a size small. I'll link all of these down below too. So if you wanna shop any of them, that's fine. But I just thought this would be really cute for like summer. I don't actually have, any of these type of dresses in black i've got quite a few like white and stuff but i don't know i just thought this would be super cute it's just like got these really cute straps like that it's got like a bit of the sharing elastic at the back which i think is so comfy for summer it's a really great midi just like a nice cotton as well it's not linen it's just like a stiff sort of cotton oh my gosh does it have oh my god it has pockets how good's that <laughs> don't you love it when a dress has pockets anyway I thought that'd be super cute just like on its own or with like a, a little cardigan on top or like a knit over the shoulders. Super cute. Also, I don't really have that many black dresses, but I think it's quite classic. So I thought that would look really cute with like tan accessories or black as well. Then I picked up this, which is quite similar. I already, if you watched my holiday vlog, I got one of these at Zara already. It's very similar, but a bit different. So I picked up this little knit top. So this little knit long sleeve, which I absolutely love. So, so cute. Like this, just like striped. As we know, I'm all obsessed with stripes at the moment. I'm in my stripe phase. I just thought this is like one of those classics that you really can't miss. Like you can't go past this. So what's different about this? It's basically the same fabric as the other one that I've shared and you guys have loved it. I've shared it over on Instagram too, but the stripes on the other one got all the way to the top. So I loved that this has like this more creamy bit at the top. Plus you will notice this is like a tighter fit, just like a normal knit top. It's like high neck like that, more fitted. I've gone for a size small in this too. So I went for like I want this to just like fit properly. Whereas the other one I went for a medium. Plus the other one has more of like a boat neck. It sort of sits like it's quite loose. It's oversized. 
So yeah, totally different vibe. Hopefully this fits. I didn't know what size to go, but I just went for a small. Um, it doesn't look too long either. So hopefully it can still like tuck in to pants. So absolute. So love that. Actually, I might wear that today. I might put that on <laughs> instead of this shirt. Yeah, love that. Then one more piece. What else did I get? Oh yes, these shorts. Now hopefully, it's so hard buying online, like especially Zara, I find it really hard with sizes. I've been on the hunt for just like a really nice classic pair of white shorts for summer, but I'm so fussy with shorts, like so, so fussy. I just, the fit has to be right. So I got these ones. I want them to be like a little bit high-waisted, sit perfectly. I want the leg to be like quite um, wide so that it actually looks cute with like a shirt like this tucked in. I want the fit to be like high-waisted, the legs not to be tight. I like them to like be flattering and comfortable. I also want them to have belt loops. So I've come across so many nice ones that just don't have belt loops and I love wearing a belt. So hopefully, the annoying thing is I don't really like, it's got like these front pockets and a front pleat, which I'm not a huge fan of. I actually like the back better, but that's annoying. You can't have the zip at the back. So I will try those on. I got them in a medium because on the model, they kind of looked a bit fitted. So I'll try them on. If they're not right, I'll send them back, but I'll keep you posted um, with how they go. Anyway, I'm going to hop off now. And also, should I thought I would share my new drink bottle. <laughs> Pick this up from Woolworths. I'm just like, as we know, obsessed with drink bottles, drink holders, all that. So I've just got cold water in here. I actually purposely bought it to have my smoothies in because it's like insulated so it keeps um keeps it cold so i thought if i'm like having smoothies in the morning on the go whatever that would be perfect anyway i'm gonna go finish getting ready camilla's still asleep what's the time 11 30 lunch is at 12 so yeah go and wake not wake her up wait till she wakes up get her ready to go i've also got to remember i've had these returns i've got to return a zara order and a dress um, I've got to take those to the post office today too, so I can't forget that. Um, but yeah, anyway, I will talk to you later. Hi, Papa. <laughs> Hello. Getting ready to go. All pretty in your little dress. Oh, you're sitting up. That's new. And you go. <laughs> Hi. You trying to get the camera? <laughs> She's so excited she can see herself. Get it. <laughs> All right, already I've popped on this Zara top. Can confirm it's so nice. I will link it down below. Camilla's wearing a cute little party dress. And it's a bit cold though, so she's got this little cute vest on. Say hello. Take it away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough Too caught up in your love I've been trying to forget But you won't let me Something in my brain wants you I've been hanging by myself Asking for help But nothing seems to work on yeah, you, you always make me feel like oh yeah, you, you never leave my thoughts alone. Yeah, you, you're the reason I'm going out of my mind. I just can't stop thinking. Hey guys, checking in from Melbourne. We've just arrived. Sorry, this vlog's literally been all over the place. I don't even know. Gosh, it's so bright in here. Um, where I've picked up my camera from last um anyway checked in we're here in melbourne just arrived it was such a nice trip down it didn't like it just went really quick checked into the hotel um harry's on his way as well he hasn't arrived yet he came down by himself he had to work this morning so i came down with some friends of ours so excited we're gonna get ready for the awards night um but yeah i thought i would just like check in show you guys around and yeah, get ready with you. Um, my friend Andrew is going to be here soon too. We're actually lucky we scored rooms next door to each other. So exciting. Um, but yeah, just so excited to like get glam, do full hair and makeup. It's just like so nice to have somewhere to go to get really dressed up. And um, yeah, just have like, you know, do full my hair and makeup. I don't really do it that often. So I'm so excited. Anyway, just checked in. I thought I would just show you our little room for the night. 
So first off, little outfit of the day. Just wearing my favorite little Henny black trousers. I've got my little Zara knit on from the one that I purchased in Queensland. Just got these, funny, I've been wearing these shoes ever since I got them. You know when that happens? Like, you just start wearing, th like I always do that. Like same with this belt, ever since I got it, I've been wearing it flat out. Anyway, it's just like a little comfy outfit. Um, I was also trying to pack really light. Like, I obviously had to pack heaps of hair and makeup stuff. Like, I've brought everything. Because we're obviously doing quite glam makeup. And, like, I brought different hair curlers and hair products and stuff. So, I didn't want to bring too many clothes. So, I've obviously got, I've got my dress for tonight. Bag, shoes, like, outfit for that. And then just, like, a little... I just think I'll wear this tomorrow as well. But I bought a different um, shirt to wear. So, anyway, yeah. This is our... Little hotel room, just checked in, little bathroom with like shower and toilet and stuff in there. I just, first thing I always do, they had these kind of like half clothes with shears. I hate like dull rooms. Obviously I like lots of natural lighting. So I've come in and that's the first thing I've did. First thing I did was open up all the curtains. Beautiful outlook onto a car park. <laughs> We're not even going to be in the room. So totally doesn't matter, but yeah, so nice to be back in the city. Oh, I just miss it so much. Anyway, so excited. Anyway, so excited to be here. I'm wearing no makeup at all. I washed my hair last night, did that whole like wash my hair, dry my hair, put a bit of a tan on. So I thought there's no point wearing makeup today. I've just, um, I put a face mask on this morning and I'll wash that off soon before I do my makeup. Um, but yeah, hair makeup, I'm thinking quite glam like waves. So I might curl my hair first and then pin that up, leave it for a bit, um, but yeah. Anyway, speak to you soon when we're getting ready. Yay! Don't want to be in love if it's not with you. Don't want to cry that extra tear. Monday morning I'm just about to finish off this vlog but I quickly wanted to share um, my few purchases from yesterday picked up some really gorgeous classic pieces from the Polo Ralph Lauren store absolutely love their stuff like I've always been a huge fan but I think I just am really gravitating at the moment towards like more classic pieces just adding items to my wardrobe that like I really really love and wear all the time so anyway I'll quickly show you through those but yeah just want to quickly recap I feel like I didn't pick up my camera as much in Melbourne as I would have liked but we were on such a time crunch so we had such a really lovely time on Saturday night we got there we had to quickly get ready like we had like an hour or so I had to like we were doing a hair full glam makeup getting ready I had to like put booby tape on my I'm so not good at this stuff by the way I never really wear revealing dresses like that that was very out there for me <laughs> um but loved my dress like I really loved it it was from Petal and Pop I'll link it down below for you as well um if you have like a nice event it'd be really nice for like a black tie wedding as well anyway so we were like just quickly getting ready I feel like I didn't really have time to like share and vlog but anyway such a nice event we went to the awards night which was so glam it was huge it was just like also crazy to be back in a room with that many people like since the pandemic I feel like I just haven't yeah been to anything like that so anyway that was really nice afterwards we went to the casino like went to a bar had some drinks which was fun um but yeah and then the next day Sunday yesterday we got up Harry and I went for a really nice lunch um just at this beautiful place it was in Paran like near these gardens which was so nice it was just like so sunny as well so is today it was just like 20 degrees so nice spring is in the air i can literally feel it it just you know when like the seasons are changing and you just get that feeling like you walk outside and you're like oh, like i can feel it coming so anyway spring is next week so i'm so excited yeah this week next week i don't know a few days away um so excited 
then we went for like a little shop harry like we went back to crown actually harry wanted to go and have a look at some watches so we went and had a look then yeah we just headed to these outlets which i can't remember i think i've been there once but we just quickly went for a look on the way out i wanted to go to the um polo ralph lauren store and they had exactly what i wanted to try on i really wasn't sure like what the vibe would be but they had so many nice pieces um yeah so we had a tiny little little look at the shops and we headed home it was the first time we'd left camilla overnight as well so i was like oh i felt so like just so excited to get home to her um we got home at probably like eight o'clock or something so yeah she was so excited to see us but anyway now i'm just monday i've been off um i went and had a coffee like meeting sort of thing with my cousin this morning just about some social media stuff um yeah now i'm home for the afternoon trying to just quickly do some finish off this vlog then I want to film, I know I mentioned this already, um, H&M and Zara haul. I've picked up a few bits over the last little bit, few months from there, so I want to share. Um, so I'll film that hopefully this afternoon. Anyway, wanted to share this dress as well. If you watched my Queensland sort of like travel holiday vlog, you would have seen this dress. I picked this up from Zara. I will also include this in my Zara haul. But I wore this yesterday at the shops um, and out for lunch. And I just loved it. Like, I hadn't actually worn it yet. So, so nice. I love it with the belt. I f I'm wearing the size extra small, by the way. So, I will link this. But if you're looking to buy, please note that it's quite oversized. Um, so, yeah. I think it's nicer with a belt around the waist. Because it's just quite like... It can be like a bit of a sack. So, anyway. Absolutely love it. I'm just loving this kind of vibe for spring. Um, but anyway, I will crack on and share what I caught, uh, what I purchased. Okay, hopefully you can see everything alright. I've just set up on my bed. Just quickly want to go over a few items that I purchased. I didn't really do any other shopping there. Like, we had a quick look around. A look around. Um, I tried on a really pretty white dress in seed. But it was just, like, too big. You know, in, like, oversized, it's like a maxi. Exactly what I like. But it was just, like, too much fabric. And I feel like it was just, like, too much. So didn't get that just picked up these few bits harry got a new suit for work which is really lovely um but yeah that was about all we did so i'll get into these new bits i'm so excited so all of these items as well well two of them i had been eyeing up for a while i'm just really in the mood at the moment for adding like really classic pieces i don't know if i'm feeling a bit of a style shift obviously it's still really neutral and minimal but very classic i just feel like i'm going for a lot more classic colors and styles um i don't know i'm just feeling really inspired by classic um pieces at the moment and also like that whole kind of countryside hamptonsy like english i don't know what the vibe is i don't know whether it's because we're mo I'm moving to a bit of a different phase like our new house is a lot more classic and old school traditional i'm just yeah anyway loving like really classic pieces so First up was this knit, which I had been eyeing up um, for quite a while. I was trying to purchase this the other week on the Iconic, but it kept selling out in my... I don't know, it just kind of always had larges, and I kept selling out in my size. Anyway, I was really excited to go and try this on. But anyway, this is piece number one. How gorgeous is this really nice um, knit? I don't have anything either. I don't have anything in a cable knit, so I always have been wanting to sort of add a piece, but I th think you have to do it right. Like, I really wanted to sort of wait and get something really classic. So, I'm obsessed. Absolutely love this colour. It's, hopefully, it's coming across on screen as nice. But it's, like, really beautiful. Um, the fabric is so nice. Really beautiful. The knit is gorgeous. Like, so, so classic. Absolutely love this colour, too. It's, like, a really nice oatmeal. You can get this in white and navy. I wouldn't mind getting the navy. I think I'm going to add that to my list as well. But, yeah, absolutely love this. I just think, like, so classic with, like jeans like linen pants tucked in even shorts for like spring love this plus i think it would look really nice even with what i'm wearing today just like draped over the shoulders for that really kind of classic look you can even tie it but i just yeah i just absolutely love the color as well the sizing um i've gone for a size small in this one i will note it it's, the size is perfect. I wanted this to be classic too, like a classic fit, tailored. Didn't want it to be too oversized for this style. So you could size up. I will say though that the neck isn't, because it's obviously knitted, it's like not very stretchy. It was quite hard to get over my face. I kind of didn't, I nearly didn't purchase it because I was like, oh, I just really don't know about this. But I think I'm going to get one of those, you know, like a headscarf kind of and put it over my face and then put this on so my makeup doesn't transfer. But um, yeah absolutely love that so that was piece number one another knit piece that i picked up which i've been looking at this for a while too 
so gorgeous. Oh, I just love this. It's similar kind of navel knit, uh, cable knit, sorry, navel knit, um, but in white. So absolutely love this, but this is a cardigan version. So the other one's just a plain knit. Also, sorry, you can get this in a V-neck too. Super nice too, but I just am not kind of a V-neck person, but I just wanted to mention that if you are, you can get those also in V-necks. But yeah, I just love this cardigan. I just was really wanting, I don't really have any white knits in my wardrobe either. So absolutely love this. Um, I've gone for a size medium too. So I did size up in this one as I was happy for this to be a bit more oversized and slouchy. So I'm picturing this just, yeah, again, with jeans and um, like tailored pants tucked in, so nice. Or just worn over like a really cute summer dress. Where I live as well, we get so many like spring and summer days where they're beautiful. But then at night, it does get a little bit cooler. So I can definitely wear something like this all year round. Like say I'm down at the beach or the markets or something and it's kind of like getting a bit cooler. Just throw this on either over your shoulders, but also you can pop it on over a dress in summer, which I think is so cute. Um, then the last piece that I got... I hadn't really seen this before, but I, try, I saw it in the store and I was like, oh my gosh, that's so me at the moment. This really gorgeous like striped long sleeve t-shirt. The fabric is so soft as well. But when I tried it on, I love, it's got this like a really wide sort of like boat neck, which I just think is so, so nice. Um, super classic as well. Like you can't go wrong with this long sleeve, white and navy stripes. I went for a size medium. They're quite small, these sizes, and I didn't want it to be like skin tight, but it's still fitted. Like it's not oversized at all. So definitely potentially size up in this one. Like I would normally be a small, but in most things, but I went for a medium in this and it was the perfect fit. I'm thinking this would be really cute too with like tucked in with trousers, um, jeans. Yeah, like oversized linen shorts for summer. So, I just wanted to show how nice this kind of vibe looks with tan accessories. This is just the closest thing I had to show you. But I just think at the moment I'm loving these kind of tones. Like stripes, really classic, tan. Actually, I just think any of these kind of tones go so nice with tan. Um, I'm feeling very much inspired by tan accessories for spring. So, anyway, just quickly wanted to share. I just picked up these three items. But yeah, so classic. I just think at the moment... I'm just, yeah, so inspired by just minimal pieces, which I always have been, but just like really choosing what I pick, like what I'm styling up. Um, I'm also going through at the moment, I've got, oh my gosh, stuff everywhere, if you could see on the other side of the camera, of, I've been going through my whole wardrobe, I've done what I've got here, then I've also slowly been getting bags from storage at the house. Um, and just going through everything. I'm having a big wardrobe cull. So if you're not following already, I've made like a wardrobe sale page over on Instagram. So go and check that out. I'll um, put all the details here and stuff. And I'm hoping I can pop up some things if you're interested, if you want to check out any of my items. Yeah, sort of shop my wardrobe. So that will be going live. Oh gosh. Um, I thought I got... Oh yeah, I have. I've got so much makeup on here. You can probably see it. Needs a wash. Um, yeah, I think I'll be going live maybe this week or next week with my phone. Um, and yeah, I'll just be kind of adding different pieces um, and just kind of popping them up if you're interested. So go and check that out. But yeah. All right, I've just finished off the afternoon of working and it's getting really dark outside now. So I was trying to beat the light. Um, anyway, just finished off this little Zara H&M order and we'll now pack up all of this. This is the result of <laughs> filming a haul. So anyway, anyway, I'll crack on now and pack all of that up. Um, I've got some editing to do. I'll try and get this up, this vlog up as soon as I can um, because I was a day late whilst we were away. Anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed this vlog and I will see you in my next one. As always, I'll leave everything down below if there's any links or anything in the description box. Um, but yeah, if you enjoy this vlog, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me, helps me grow. So I'd really appreciate if you did that. Um, but yeah, anyway, I will see you in next week's vlog.